Hello and welcome to Walker on the Wild Side. My name is Ben Walker and today I'm talking about how you can save a hedgehog. So first of all, a little bit about them. Now, hedgehogs aren't native to the entire world. It's mainly over Europe and Asia. Um, and they are now in New Zealand because we introduced them there and they're kind of destroying things. That's for another time. Now, as a whole, hedgehogs are not really vulnerable to extinction. However, the British species is vulnerable. So we have to do our utmost to make sure that we look after them because everyone loves a hedgehog. They're small animals, very cute, and we love to see them wander around. I haven't seen a hedgehog in ages, and honestly, I miss them. Now they do look quite similar to porcupines, but they are in fact not related to them in any way. It's just they both have spines, basically. Um, the closest relative of a hedgehog is a shrew. But a hedgehog hasn't really changed from a physical standpoint in about 15 million years. Now, if you think about us, over the course of 8 million years, we've gone from apes to humans. So those 15 million years without a change, that's quite extraordinary, really. It shows that, honestly, hedgehogs are just perfect. Nature doesn't want to change them. Anyway, moving on to how to you can save a hedgehog. So the first way that you guys can help hedgehogs is just to make a small little hole, about 13 centimeters by 13, in one of your fences because that way the hedgehog can pass from garden to garden with ease because at the moment as i'm sure everyone knows if you have a garden chances are you've got a fence around it and there's no way for a hedgehog to move around basically so making that little hole as hilda's heading for here will basically just make it much easier for these hedgehogs to get around and find food because of course in the wild food is the first thing you need now talking about that it's always a good idea to leave a little shallow bowl of water outside your house. That's for any wildlife who might need some. And if you feel like it, you can always get some hedgehog food to leave in a little bowl for them, but obviously that's not gonna be a priority for everyone. So if you have any especially meaty cat food, dog food, the hedgehogs will absolutely love that too. Anything you can do to help out these little creatures would be fantastic. And I'm sure they'll appreciate it by showing up on your doorstep every now and then. The next step is to actually change your gardening habits. Now, if you're a gardener, I'm sure you just want to get it all done, get it all sorted, make it look nice and pretty. But hedgehogs love a little bit of wild scrub. So if you can keep a corner of your garden wild, so plant wildflowers, let it go a bit unruly, then that will really help them because this will actually provide protection for them. So they'll be able to go in there and hide from predators and maybe even make a little nest there too. So if you could do that, that'd be amazing. Though if you are gonna tidy up a slightly wild area, make sure you're checking the grass before you're strimming it to make sure that there are no hedgehogs hiding under there. And obviously when you're mowing as well, though you should be able to see a hedgehog moving around if you're mowing reasonably short grass. All you need to do is take care basically. Make sure you know that there's nothing alive in there before you start trimming it all up. Next, please don't use pesticides. Now, I'm not a fan of slugs, but hedgehogs love them. So if you are going to be trying to get rid of them, please only use organic methods. Because if you're killing the, pes uh, the slugs with pesticides, then that, get, that poison can go into the hedgehog system and then it just snowballs from there. Also, if you don't have any slugs, you're not going to have any hedgehogs, basically. So hedgehogs are natural pest controllers. Let them do their job and you may be rewarded with a sight of them every now and then. Even if you're not, you'll be safe in the knowledge that you are helping provide for them as well, which, you know, is lovely. Now, hedgehogs love to nest in certain places that we aren't a massive fan of keeping there for a long time. For example, bonfires. So if you, are, if, if you do have a bonfire and you're gonna light it, make sure you're giving it a good old rummage first. Get those hedgehogs out of there because many hedgehogs do perish in bonfires every year. Same goes for compost heaps. If you have an open air compost heap, hedgehogs love diving in, into that to set up their nest. So before you start stirring it all over with your gut pitchfork, make sure you know that nothing's in there and you're not gonna be killing anything because it does happen, unfortunately. So just make sure you're being nice and safe. Now, hedgehogs are excellent swimmers, in fact. But what does happen, unfortunately, is they can sometimes fall into ponds or pools. So just make sure that they have a way to climb out, basically. Don't keep all the sides sheer rocky surface. 
Same goes for cattle grids, they do sometimes fall into cattle grids, so if you happen to have one on your land or anywhere around you, put a little ramp in there. So that way they'll be able to climb back out nice and safe. And same goes for drains, they do quite often fall into drains unless they're covered up, so just make sure you are keeping those drains covered as well. Now, one of the most important things you can do for a hedgehog is to have a hedge. So just make sure you're not just cutting down hedges willy-nilly. Make sure you're keeping these hedges around because they offer little pathways for the hedgehog to travel as well as areas for them to nest, say, from predators. So the final thing I'm going to say for you to help hedgehogs is perhaps to make your own hedgehog home. These are very easy to do. You can find instructions for them all over the internet. But this will be just be somewhere where a hedgehog can nest and hibernate safe from predators. Obviously, you don't have to do that. If you don't want to make one, you can buy one ready-made. But if not, all the things I've said before, so hedges, wild areas, all those sorts of things are perfect areas for hedgehogs to nest. So if you don't fancy getting one, that's absolutely fine. But if you do, I'm sure the hedgehogs will be very, very grateful. Now, just a couple of things for you not to do, because lots of people think they're trying to help hedgehogs when they're doing these things, but it turns out it's actually quite bad for them. So, first of all, do not leave out milk. The only drink that hedgehogs need is water. If you're leaving out milk, it could lead to sickness and diarrhea. So just make sure you're only leaving out water for them. I used to think the milk was fine. Turns out it's not. Another thing is, stay away from mealworms. Now, hedgehogs love mealworms, they, but the only problem is it's, it, it's kind of addictive for them. So if you're leaving out mealworms in large quantities, they're just going to get addicted to these mealworms and may not be able to quit, I'm afraid. But as well as this, mealworms are very, very high in phosphorus. Now, too much phosphorus is obviously a bad thing. So to counteract this, for every milligram of phosphorus they eat, hedgehogs have to eat a milligram of calcium. If they don't eat this calcium, it then gets taken from their bones, which can lead to atrophy and all that sorts of horrible stuff. So make sure if you are going to leave mealworms out, only in small quantities or as a special treat if you have a, a particular hedgehog that you like. So make sure you're not doing these things too often because it will be bad for the hedgehogs. So just to sum up how you can help hedgehogs, all you have to do is have a habit, habitat somewhere in your garden where they can live. So remember that's a hedgehog house, wild grass, a hedge, anything like that. They do also love bonfires though, so make sure you're being very careful if you're lighting a bonfire or moving certain stuff around like compost. Even just a pile of twigs in the corner would be something great for a hedgehog. Now if you want to feed your hedgehogs as well, stick to things that they actually eat, okay? That's moths, slugs, caterpillars, that sort of stuff. Don't go for mealworms unless it's a special treat and stay away from milk. Now, if you've enjoyed watching this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And if there's anything else you want me to cover in the future, leave it in the comments down below. Thank you mate, very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon.